evening everyone um all right looks like uh people are still joining in so yeah i'm just gonna chill and and, and wait for you all wataranta media wilson <laughs> uh where are you where are you where are you checking in from So welcome on board. Uh, good to have you uh, on live with me. Oh, great, great. From Temeke. All right, great. Okay. So we're just gonna have uh, 15 minutes uh just talking about planning we, we we spoke about it last week and it was really interesting um some of you who might not okay i assume this is going to be on on archive and probably some of you are going to catch it on recorded so i'm just going to flow and then um you know we'll keep on interacting as we go on because time is already moving so um yeah, so if you missed um, the first part of planning, where we're just uh, talking about planning, why it's, it's, it's very important to plan, and we had an interesting engagement. So if you missed out on that one, I hope you can still uh, follow and listen or watch it on IGTV at Mimi Ninani on our Instagram page. So I hope the light is going to keep us long enough. So it's, it's already uh, at past sunset and I thought we could have it natural today, having the natural breeze, like, you know, you know just out, uh, outside with all these wonderful plants and the natural light. So I hope we can still catch up with it. So, yeah, and I hope the breeze will not be, will not be of inconvenience and all the noise outside, right? Looks like we cannot have best of, of both worlds. So. Yeah, but it's really calm and, 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 and so fresh out here, especially now that Dar es Salaam is so hot. And, and so, yeah, this can be, this can be quite relieving, you know, uh, being, being at, this, at this place right now. It's like you're cooling off and, and it's, it's the natural cooling off. Okay, so enough of my weather. So I'm, I'm checking in from Dar es Salaam, uh, Tanzania. So uh, it would be nice if you're joining in and you kind of let us know where are you joining in from. Um, yeah, so that would be interesting just to get to know one another. So maybe, yeah, you can just briefly introduce yourself and tell us where you're checking in from. So just bear with me if there is any interruptions in terms of noise. I'm trying to, I'm going to try to amplify my voice, uh, you know, to be high enough so that you can still hear me, right? okay all right so so let me get to the point so to, we're going to, we're going to be talking about planning this evening we have like 15 minutes to talk about planning and it would be nice to kind of engage uh welcome kachi chebas kachi chebas right i hope i'm pronouncing that right so if you can tell us where you're from and anything anything that you'd, you'd like to share with us okay so um, this is, 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 a, is an engaging uh, platform. So it's, it's, it's interesting. The more people join in, the better, meaning that we, we interact. Um, we get to interact, we get to, to talk, right? So yeah, I'm just gonna... Okay. All right. Okay. Um some kind of pausing, just letting people joining in so that we can have an interactive session. All right, so good evening once again. I'm checking in from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. So I'm 
having you all guys just joining me and we want to talk about planning so uh, as I say this session is more interactive it's more engaging so uh, my expectation is that you know we get to ask each other questions or kind of sharing our you know issues around planning and so today I wanted us to talk about you know planning tools in terms of you know what how do you get your hands on planning you know there was a quote that was shared I think this week um, you know by by Jim Ron that says that you know if, if you know you, it's you, you, your plans as good as, as as you know as how you write them on paper something like that so you know it's not exactly like that I'm just paraphrasing it meaning that you know you've got to document your plans and so uh, I would be interested to kind of start with how you know first you know we, we, we kind of touched the introduction about how important it is to to document your plans you know most of us trust our heads and we're like you know I have it figured out I know what I need to do today or you have a rough idea of how you, you want your day to go tomorrow and that's a very short-term way of thinking hi Rose Margarita a pretty social TZ thank you for joining in so it will be nice to to interact with you all so we're talking about planning so it's just getting started and I'm hoping that we can kind of join in and and interact right so I was just talking about um, planning tools we want to know from um, you know to learn and share like what what kind of planning tools do you guys use if you're using any and what's your approach towards them and whether you kind of you know do you document your planning like do you wake up every day uh, you have like a to-do list or um, you have your annual plans figured out or your quarter plans how do you go about you know um, you know with planning and and how does it help you to execute so we talked about um, the intro to planning last week and it kind of set the tone for planning and now we are we want to go into you know the hands-on now you know you've already understood the essence that you know you need to plan for your life you need to plan for things because your life is you know you're kind of limited in terms of life you have few resources you know you have talents and abilities and your life is is kind of short you know so you need to you need to plan how you're gonna you know use your limited resources uh, to maximize your potential right so you have 24 hours a day not more than that and you have every other thing you know fighting or um, you know taking over your time so you have to plan your life you have to see how you can utilize your resources your potential your abilities your talents so that you can maximize them monetize them so without a plan you can just you know be the best that you can be you might do something but it could be just ordinary right so planning kinds of helps you to to see yourself um, forward and how you know you move strategically right so uh, so today it's more about talking about the planning tools right so do you write your plans uh, or do you have them in your head and and why it's very important to kind of document them so this is this is a session where I just want to hear from you guys uh, please just share uh, Salim Shaz Nesma so it would it will be nice to hear from you guys do you do you use any tools how do you go about planning and 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 I'll be talking and sharing as we move on, but it would be nice to hear from you guys. So how do you, um, you know, how do you go about your day? How do you go about your week? How do you go about month to month, right? Okay, okay, so um, I hope you guys uh, are going to check in or write something so that I can, you know, be nice to engage and, and share from, 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 from one another. So what, what are your thoughts or what are your experiences around it? So there are many tools online that can, you know, can, can guide you or help you when it, comes to, when it comes to planning. But I would kind of advise before you pick a tool uh, to use, let's say, you know, um, if you, even if you Google right now, if you like, you know, there, there are planning tools, let's say Asana or, um, you know, there is um, this one that just came recently. It's called KickUp. So all these are planning tools, you know, they kind of help you to say, I'm going to do this and this and this this month. And then, you know, it should be done. The task should be completed by a certain um, date. So, you know, it sends you reminders or something like that. 
But before you get to that point, you need first to know what do you want to achieve at the end of the day, right? So planning is, you know, before, it's not just about saying, I want to go to this place, I want to do this, or I want to write a book, or I want to, um, you know, study ABC. You have first to know, you know, what do you want to do? And why do you want to do that? So it's not just about, you know, writing your list. Otherwise, planning is going to be boring. It's going to feel like, you know, you're forced to do things that you don't want to do. So it's all about, you need to start with thinking about, you know, what do you want at the end of the day? What's your day going to be, you know, when you accomplish, you've accomplished something? And what is it that you want to accomplish? So for someone else, it could be just that one thing that they've been really trying to accomplish, you know? So that could be the only thing that is so meaningful. So if you plan and say like, I might have 10 things to do, but if I just accomplish one thing, that will be very good for me, right? Oh, thanks, Roz. Um, Margarita says, I write all my daily tasks on notes app for iPhone. I like scheduling with notes because it's the quickest, but for my entrepreneurial life, okay. What's that? Okay, is that a tool or something? Uh, Margarita, can you please uh, elaborate on that? Yeah, so I, I also use Notes app um, as well. And, but, but that's just for quick reminders for me. So I have... Um, oh, Evernote. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Thank you for sharing that. So for some of you who would like to look into that, um, I think it's a free app. Maybe if you want to get some more like advanced features you could pay for that but i think it's, it's it's free so you you might want to check on that so i personally um i like to try different things when it comes to planning and tools so <laughs> because um you know i i think you you have to first start with as I, as I was saying you first need to look at the year or if it's a time frame that you have it could be a week or a month or a quarter but i would advise you to to start with the year you know, like if it's 2021, it's January. By December 31st, what things do you want to see accomplished? And my advice to you is don't have a list of so many things, you know. Just have some categories, you know. Like if it's um, an area of career, think about your career. Like how, what, what things do you want to accomplish? Just one thing in your career to, make, like, to go to the next ladder, you know. If, it's, if you're in school right now, if you're in academics or something, I think the best way is to just have, you know, where do you see yourself? Like, what do you want to achieve at the end of the year? You could be, I don't know, at uni or something. And uh, you need to kind of think of what would be the best accomplishment for you, you know? And, and, and so um, you can have just three to five, you know, main goals that you really want to work on. And having that sense of an end in mind, you know? seeing that accomplishment in your head, visualizing it, kind of helps you now to go to the next question. What do I need to do to get there, right? And that's where planning comes in, right? But again, before you ask yourself why, you know, what do you need to get there? You need to ask yourself, why did I pick those three to five things as my biggest accomplishments, right? So if you want to serve, let's say I want to serve 10 million by 31st December, 10 million shillings, then you must ask yourself why why am i setting myself this goal you know because when you find the why it will be your motivation right so that planning just gets you to that motivation right so that's that's my approach towards my 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 planning my my day to day or my monthly or quarterly or annually so that's that's where you need to start and then the next question is now you know how would you how will you get there so if you're always, you know, time is, a, we, we covered last time, time is, is a scarce resource. But at the same time, it's, it's, it's the, you know, you're all given that same amount of time equally. So how do you, you know, work around it to achieve the things that you want to achieve? What are the things that you need to reduce to get to, to achieve those things that you want to achieve? And so once you have that laid out, then you can have a tool that can help you now bring that accountability. So... Um, if you need reminders, like, you know, I would block my time on calendar. Um, calendar helps because it, it, it reminds you, um, it blocks your time way ahead of time. And, you know, I would recommend that you start your plan with the things that are constant, you know. 
So for instance, you're a student, that means there are hours that are fixed, that you have to be in class. You have to be attending lectures, right? So start with that time, you know? Start with that time. Um, and then I'm just trying to see who is in, who is... Uh, please comment around uh, planning. How do you plan? How do you approach all this planning process? I'm just trying to share because... <laughs> I'm not seeing your, your, your comments, uh, so it would be nice to read from you. So how do you plan? Do you write down your plans? Do you have any um, apps that you're using, any tools? And, and that would be nice to learn from you. So I was just sharing my experience around planning and how I kind of approach it and how I, you know, I keep myself accountable with that. And that I, I always, you know, I always adopt something new, something different that helps me to be more accountable. So, yeah, I was just talking about how I work uh, around calendars and how I'll, I recommend for you, if you're very new to planning and you're like, I'm not a person who likes fixed schedules, who likes uh, alarm clocks, who likes reminders. So just start, you know, with the things that, you know, with your routines. So your routines are the things that you do that don't change, you know. So you, you start with the time that you wake up. Fix the waking up time. Fix the time that you sleep, right? So that, that could, could be a starting uh, point. Then fix the amount of time that you need to sleep. Like for me, I have put like at least six hours. I need six hours to sleep. So that helps me to know or adjust my waking up time and my sleeping time. And then you have the rest of the day. So there are days that you have fixed things. Like if you have to be in classes or you have to be at work. So if work is eight hours or nine hours or 11 hours then you know those are fixed i have to be in the office i have to be working right then you have this other time maybe it's free time it's you know how do you want to use the free time do you want it to use for personal development do you want to write a book using that time is it the time you want to learn a new hobby maybe cooking exploring something so that's how you know how you can truly kind of budget on your time your 24 hours and then you know th you know the things that are regular you know the things that don't change and the things that you know change okay so margarita asks how of how often do you make changes to your plans and is making changes often to plans a good thing well i think again i think you have to think about your end that's why i say you need to start with your end in mind i change plans but not so much not a lot because i i i have in as much as i plan for it for the year <laughs> i also uh, evaluate myself i have every week i have to set some hours where i do evaluate myself so i'll evaluate my week and then i plan for the week ahead so if I'll, i will know where i have been off track where i've been in track and i go off track so many times like there's some moments where I get, you know, I get that, I get lost in the schedule because there's so many things demanding time or there's some meetings or things like that. Or sometimes I'm just tired, you know, I need some break. And so I'll be lagging behind. So the things that, the good thing is every Tuesday, it's actually every Tuesday where I have my me time. <laughs> that, that me time is basically the time where I kind of, you know, go through my plans for for the week so at that time i also have an overview of all my plans for the year monthly and and for the week so i have this um but it's all in excel right now i don't have any tool like um like some planner no <laughs> i'm trying to see if i can explore on that yeah so i'm, I'm yet to to get to go to more of, of of such automated um plans i would love to really get one but at the moment i do everything manually so i have it in excel so i have this calendar some it's just a normal planner like a calendar planner that has all the dates and i try to kind of see the whole year and then i look at the monthly and then i do the weekly so yeah so that's how how I do it. I don't know if, if Marge have managed to answer your question, but yeah, you just need to see where, you know, the end in mind and the constant evaluation really helps you to see whether, you know, how well you're doing. Um, if you can do weekly, you can do monthly evaluation and then you can see how much off track you have been and then you can always come back and focus again, right? So <laughs> at least that's for me and 
it hasn't been easy i would say because um it's 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 always tough especially when you have to manage everything yourself your time and other things but you know and that's why i have to be in check as many times as i can so i think we're out of time but it was really nice engaging with you all um this is just a 15 minutes talk by the way so this month we have been focusing on planning so we're gonna discuss things about planning until the month ends and then we'll share another theme for next uh, month um february and so that's gonna be the way and and i hope you know i'm looking forward to kind of you know we hope this platform can be a place where we can be just exchanging um, talks and ideas and just learn from one another so that we can be more productive, we can be uh, the best versions of ourselves and just, you know, learn from one another. So um, till then, please, um, you know, keep following our updates and, 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 you know, whatever that is happening. And we'll be happy to have you guys joining us in our talks, you know, give us your suggestions. And let me just mention one thing quickly, um, my apology on behalf of Mimi Ninani, we were supposed to, you know, last last week we hosted this on Wednesday afternoon, but we kind of, we're still testing and experimenting because we don't know what's the perfect time for doing this in terms of having you guys joining in. You know, most of you would like for this to be like a discussion, not like some lecture <laughs> or some session where someone just comes and just gives you all the insights, but rather learning from one another. So, um... You know, we'll keep testing any day and any time and just see how, you know, which time has the maximum attendance, something like that. You can as well, um, you know, give us feedback when is appropriate, when works for most of you. So otherwise, uh, it's been nice. It's been great. Thank you so much, Marge. Uh, thank you for engaging as well. Uh, I think that's Gibby. You just join in. Thank you for waving. And so have a good evening uh, or good anytime wherever you are um, catch you later or, I mean next week and till then um, bye bye I'm gonna check out now <laughs>